having a bad, bad day If you take it personal, that's okay Watch, this is so fun to see Oh, just get good for me Earlier this year I launched my second collection of sunglasses with Kenmark Eyewear and this year we're partnering with a charity called MQ Mental Health Research which I'm really happy about because I think the work they do is so important. morning everyone. I'm sure lots of people are in a good mood today. Um, I went to bed with an aggressive amount of spot cream on my face which is why I'm coming at you with this quite strong filter. Um, but something to ask you, the my new podcast, the first episode comes out tomorrow, um, which I'm never slash excited about but I will leave a swipe up here so you can go and find it. But something to ask you is I have recordings coming up um, soon for episodes on sustainable fashion, on climate action and on comparison are the ones that I'm doing next. So if you would like to send in any questions about those topics, you can email them to goodinfluencepod at gmail.com. Charlie Craggs, who's amazing, just one of my favorite people in the world. She, we were on a panel together once and she said, this is, you know, why did you become an activist? And her response was, I, I don't, I don't want to be an activist. I didn't choose to be an activist. I physically have to be an activist to validate my presence on this planet. And I kind of feel that way about, um, talking about mental health and mental illness, I kind of wish that I didn't have to do it all the time because it is emotionally exhausting. But at the same time, I do think it's so necessary because the conversations that are going on at the moment, I just don't think are quite full enough. Craig's, who's amazing just one of my favorite people in the world she we were on a panel together once and she said this is you know why did you become an activist and her response was i i don't i don't want to be
find and haven't tried it yet but you will see is that if I do this the thing doesn't actually catch any of my hair like do you see that it's fucking amazing look bam it's freaking amazing like why hasn't this been invented beforehand right so Walls and boundaries are different. Walls are forcing people out. That's like slamming the door in someone's face. And a boundary is you safely being able to be intimate with each other while still maintaining your individualism and maintaining your separation because you're still two separate humans. Mm -hmm. And that's the important part. Morning, Jill. Morning, Tracy. What'd you get up to this weekend? Oh, I had a lovely little breakdown. Did you? I did. Yeah, really treated myself. I felt on the brink all week, so I decided to stalk my ex just to push myself over the edge. John Dad's had to move house for his health, and me and my newborn girl don't have anywhere else to go. I'm 18 now, I need to go out, so I'm moving in with partner for the time being. We're too Obviously. far away from friends, family, and my daughter.
one thing that always catches or always like shocks me, and this might shock you too, Gemma, is that food waste on a on a global scale, the amount of food that we throw away is six times more carbon emissions than air and ground transportation. So flying and driving and quitting quitting all those things and riding a bike and walking to work is fine and great, but it's food waste that is a larger issue and it's never talked about. of how we're similar in some way because we share kind of this ambition or this desire but I'm not going to let it um, derail me in this moment I'm going to let it just be what it is so good for you and the same for me is really really powerful and